Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how Joe and I finished the attic and turned it from this into this, a finished studio space. It was a long process and my first time doing any heavy duty renovations around a house, but luckily Joe had some experience that made this a much smoother process than if I were to do it alone or with another total newbie. We started by removing the existing linoleum flooring and replacing it with laminate plank flooring. We decided to run the planks from on the longest side of the attic to elongate the space. Installing the flooring was tricky because we had to make sure all of the planks seams were as close as possible to avoid them popping out later on while we were installing more on that column. We kind of got the hang of it though by the end. After installing the flooring, we started on drywall. This was my first time doing anything with drywall and starting on a pentagon shaped attic was probably not the best idea, but the process was pretty simple. We just had to cut each piece to size and then use screws to attach them to the studs. I have to say that's much easier said than done.
Update on the attic. This is what it looks like. All of the drywalls up except for like in these cracks right here. And today we're going to finish like sinking all the nails in or screws and then um, mudding and taping so that hopefully we can get this painted soon, maybe later this week. So yeah, it's coming together well. And we have to finish up around some of these outlets too. And like this light, and we're putting in like, collars. what are they called? Collars around like the recessed lights. So and we're gonna switch out the light bulbs too. But we're almost there. I think like the hardest stuff is done now. Once the drywall was up, we went over all of the seams and screw holes with plaster. We also cut out smaller pieces to patch up areas around the outlets. Day two of mudding and taping the drywall. This is what we have done. Pretty good. All right, get the, the hammer and the nails, baby. This is what we're working on this morning. We're working on putting the window trim up and kind of finishing this over here. Ultimately, big goal is to have it fully furnished with all the stuff that's downstairs today. Um, I don't know, that might be a little optimistic, but we're gonna try. This is what the window looks like now. Um, we just have to paint it and like kind of putty over the nail holes. Um, and then we'll, we'll be all set. So there's that one, and then we finished that guy down right here. And we ran out of trim, so we went, Joe just cut off. He rudely interrupted me to cut off a piece of the trim so we can go back to Lowe's and like 
Got the rest of it to finish this wall. So that's where we're going next. You gonna say something? Hi. I feel like you're just always lurking. <laughs> Next, we put up the trim by using liquid nails to adhere it to the walls, then nailing it in. This really helped pull the room together and make it look like a finished space. So we picked up some um, extra trim to finish up the walls, but also we have this like chimney area here. Um, and it's just, you know, it's the attic, so it just connects the chimney to the outside. But there's like this four inch gap around, and that's a little smaller here. It's probably like two inches there, but four inches here and underneath this um, dresser. And originally we were just going to mortar, but then I was like, hey, let's, um, Try to make it look a little bit more finished. So we picked up these sheet mosaics and they're like these marble mosaics. If we were doing a bigger area, probably would have been way more expensive, but actually I think um, we might be able to get away with just two of them. Um, and then we got some adhesive and grout as well. And luckily we just got like this tiny little, they have like tiny little pre-mixed grouts. So we're gonna cut it to like size. Um, and yeah, honestly, I think like two sheets should be enough, but we'll see. All right, now we have all of the trim up, which is looking so good. And now Joe is just starting on um, the mosaic for around the chimney. And yeah, we're almost there. This is what it looks like um, ungrouted. So we're just gonna clean up in the meantime and then finish that up. And I think the next step after that is bringing everything up, like all the furniture, so. I can't even explain to you how like relieved I am that we're almost done though. Like this has obviously been like quite a process and I can't say the whole time has been fun. Um, but now that it's like finished and you know, we added like 400 square feet of finished space to the house, which is like awesome as, you know, just homeowner perspective. But you know, just as like people living here as well, um, the house has been chaotic. Um, not just because all of Joe's studio stuff has been like strewn about the house, in like random spots, but also because like all of the construction material 
we didn't know if we would need it again so we had to like hold on to it until kind of you know this part of the process where now we can start um you know getting rid of stuff and deciding what to keep what not to keep etc so the house has just really been a mess which i have a, like a decent tolerance for a messy space but like there gets to be a point where it's just bad i know that you know it's all temporary and it's gonna blow over but definitely has been taking a little bit of a toll on me when every day i wake up to like a giant mess and just the reminder that we haven't finished this room then it was time to clean and oh boy was it messy and dusty in there the attic was super super dusty but and it took forever to sweep and to clean but we did it So after all of that work, this is what the attic looked like at the end. If you want to see more DIY videos from me, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.